Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'd like to help you better understand how you can easily extend the life of your existing audio gear and get theater quality sound from equipment you probably already own. And the challenge is always around technology because it's constantly changing and evolving, and most modern media gear, including widescreen displays, are based on a digital audio standard. And the problem is, you may already own a beautiful home stereo that can produce amazing sound, but it's based on an analog standard for an input. Or you may own a sound bar that has digital sound, but it's incompatible with the connections on your brand new widescreen display. So you need to find a way to convert the audio from that digital space into an analog space for your home stereo or a different digital standard for your sound bar. And the other challenge is the HDMI connection between your media device and your display has been evolving as well. And a new standard was introduced called ARC and now EARC, which is an audio return channel standard that allows you to make one connection between a media device and your monitor and then make a single connection from that monitor to your audio device and the audio is sent back over that cable. Most of the products you already own are probably not compatible with an ARC device. So you need to find a way to convert that ARC or eARC signal into either an analog input for your home stereo or a digital input for your soundbar. And that's exactly what these products are designed to do. Now, O-Ray makes two different products. One is an analog converter and one is a digital converter. But essentially what these products do is they can talk ARC or eARC so they can connect up to your monitor and they'll actually extract the audio stream from that ARC signal and convert it either to an analog or a digital output that you can then feed to your home stereo if it's analog or your soundbar if it's digital. And they do a phenomenal job. They're incredibly easy to use. So a single HDMI connection to your monitor allows you to take this and connect it to your home stereo or connect it to your soundbar and the audio gets extracted and converted so you can continue to use that equipment and again produce that theater quality sound. Now I do want to do a demonstration of this and I'm going to take a closer look at these first and explain the differences because there are two different models like I'd mentioned. One is keyed up for analog and one is keyed up for digital. So depending on what you're trying to connect to, it's important you pick the right unit. Now with analog, you typically have a left and right channel through RCA connections or through a 3.5 millimeter connection and this one has both of those available. For the digital side of the house, you may connect through a coax connection or an SP-DIF optical connection. And again, this one has both of those connections available as well. So if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is take a closer look at both of these extractors and converters and explain the connections you'll need to make to use them with your own equipment. And then I'll actually come back and do a demonstration to show you just how simple it'll be to use these products with your own equipment. And I'll show you how you can extract audio from an HDMI signal that's connected to an ARC port and then pass that along to both an analog receiver and a digital receiver and you can hear the audio quality of both of those products. O-Ray offers two different versions of their ARC to audio converter, an analog version, the DA25, and a digital version, the DA41. They both operate in very similar fashion, but it's really important you pick the correct converter for the audio equipment you'll be connecting to. Analog output here, digital output here. I'll start with the analog converter. The product features a high impact plastic case which makes it lightweight and very durable and it's divided into input connections and output connections. On the input side, you'll find a full-sized HDMI port. You'll connect that with a standard HDMI cable to the ARC output on your monitor. You'll also find a power port right here. It's a micro USB port. You can use the cable that's included with the kit. You'll plug the micro USB end in here. The USB A end plugs into the charger and provides all the power you'll need for operation. On the other end, you'll find two output ports, a set of RCA connections, and a three and a half millimeter left and right audio output auxiliary port. You can use either of these to connect it up to your audio equipment, whichever one's more convenient. They're both active at the same time. On the side of the unit, you'll find a power switch you can use to turn the unit on and off. The digital version is exactly the same. On the input side, you'll find the HDMI port and the power port. On the output side, you have a choice between a coaxial digital connection or a Toslink optical connection. And again, you can use either of these to connect up to your audio equipment, whichever is more convenient. Finally, you'll find the same power switch on the side you can use to turn the unit on and off. I hope that closer look was helpful. And now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use an ARC to analog or digital audio extractor and converter to extend the useful life of your existing audio gear. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor with music playing in the background. And that media player represents anything you own today with a standard HDMI output that you'd like to connect up to your new monitor. It could be a DVD player, a game console, or a streaming media player like Apple TV. 
Here I have a brand new digital display that uses a digital audio standard and also provides an ARC output port that I'll use to extract the audio and convert it to analog or digital so I can pass it along to my existing audio gear. Over here, I have two different audio systems set up, an older home stereo that can only accept an analog input and an older digital soundbar that's set up for SPDIF. So this is the equipment I already own. This is brand new equipment that I just bought that I'd like to use with my existing audio gear. And that's exactly what these two products were designed to help with. I've got an analog converter here and the digital converter here. I'll start with the analog converter. I've connected a cable up to the ARC output port on the back of the monitor. The other end of that cable plugs into the HDMI input port on the converter. And now I'll add power. In this case, it's a micro USB connection and I'll plug that into the converter. Now, the minute I add power to this unit, it immediately starts a power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics internally to make sure they're working okay. It's also checking the HDMI media stream, extracting the audio, converting it to analog, and providing it to both of these outputs. Now, the DA25 provides both an RCA connection and a three and a half millimeter connection for left and right audio. And depending on what kind of stereo you have, you can use either of those because they're both active at the same time. In my case, I have RCA cables connected and I'll plug those into the two RCA ports on the extractor, and there's your audio. So think about this a second. You've got HDMI media coming in, it's being extracted, converted to analog audio, and passed along to an existing stereo, so I can continue to use my beautiful home stereo with my shiny new display. I can do the same on the digital side as well. Let me show you that next. So in this case, I'll use the same cable from the ARC port in the back of the monitor to the HDMI input port in the extractor, I'll connect power up to it as well. And the same thing happens. It goes through a power on self-test internally. It's checking the HDMI media stream. It's extracting the audio. And in this case, it's converting it to digital audio that's available through the coaxial connection or the SPDIF connection. Now my soundbar is set up for SPDIF. I've got an optical cable right here. I'll connect it up to the output port. And the minute I do, it takes a second for it to handshake because it's got to figure out the HDMI signal converted to the digital signal, but there's the same audio. And it really is just that simple to get it going. So I hope you found this review helpful. And until next time, <laughs> thanks for watching.